Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about coffee. In particular, we're going to be talking about Lavazza. We're going to talk about the Espresso K-Cup. So I am not a big K-Cup consumer, but my beautiful fiance is, and she loves her K-Cups because they keep her away from Starbucks. So I, I always buy as many as I can. So I'll buy 80 at a time, I'll buy 36 at a time, I'll buy 40 at a time, and I'm always looking for the cheapest price per K-Cup. So luckily Amazon's really good about that, Amazon Prime Now in particular, you can basically just see what it is per count. And Lavazza came up a winner this time. So I snagged some of those and I put them to the test. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a full breakdown of the K-Cup in terms of taste, quality, and then we're gonna open up and look inside the actual K-Cup. So look forward to that. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, let's just do a quick hands-on real quick. Take a look at this box. It's interesting that it says Keurig up at the top. I think that's the new way that they're doing this. Um, but one thing you have to pay attention to is how much each K cup weighs in ounces. So that's where they can mess you up. If you're thinking you're getting 16 of the same K cups as all the other ones. And then you look here and you realize that the other 16 pack has a higher ounce count per cup. So no, no two K cups are created equal by any means. I learned about this company from a Hulu commercial of all places. Never knew they existed until I saw the, the commercial and I was like, oh, that sounds like a very yummy coffee company. So I was on Amazon buying some K-Cups for my beautiful fiance and found these bad boys on sale. So I snagged them up. See, there's the Arabica. So if you watched any of my old um, videos, there's Arabica and then there's Robusto. So those are the two different um, coffees. This is the more common one right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. We'll take a look at the K-Cup. Okay, so it follows a similar look as the box, which is really nice. You're not going to get confused on what you have. Right up the bat, it feels very lightweight. And if you shine a light, let me try and turn on my light. Now, if you shine a light at it, you can actually see that it's about right here. I'm going to go through a full breakdown of... Um, the K cup, I'm going to open it up and do all that stuff. So you'll see what's inside of it and you'll know exactly how these things are put together and why they're not the best, but we're hoping that this is a yummy cup of coffee. So that's, that's all we can ask for at this point. All right. Pretty standard look. Okay, let's do a sip test right quick. This is a 16 ounce cup. Um, right off the bat, it does not taste good. It is quite watery, very, very thin, 
and just overall the taste is just not there. Um, but once again, this is a 16 ounce pour, so that means it is going to be more watery and it's going to need more grounds to fill up um, the flavor. But we're going to go ahead and do a 8 ounce pour right here. So this should give us a more accurate taste and a more accurate um, review because um, a lot of people do 8 ounce pours because they're going to throw in their creamer and their whipped cream and their cupcakes and whatnot you know um try to match that starbucks yo but yeah so we're gonna go ahead and give this eight ounce a taste test i'm using my grand canyon cup absolutely love this cup got it from said grand canyon um but let's go ahead and give it a taste test right here and right off the bat i'm starting to taste flavors that i didn't taste before i'm getting more of a full body taste um, it's not as watery, obviously, and it really performs better. So I would recommend if you use um, this K-Cup in particular, stick with 8 ounces. You're going to really enjoy it, especially if you drink it like I do, straight up, black, nothing added to it. But now we're going to go ahead and review um, what's inside of the K-Cup. A lot of people have not opened up a K-Cup before. I was very shocked at what I found. Um Two things that I found, um, the size of the grinds uh, or grounds is very shocking. Uh, filter that's in it. Most people don't talk about the filter. They're like, oh, it's a K-cup. It just does everything all in one. You, no one really thinks about the fact that there is a filter inside of a K-cup. Um, and no one ever tells you, I've never heard anyone talk about what the filter's made out of. So right here, you can see that this is like insanely tiny grinds. Like, I mean, it's something that is, you would never find this in any other form. Like, I don't even know how I could grind it this small because it's one step away from being like mush almost. Um, but here, we'll go ahead and take a look at the filter itself. Um, I did not look it up, so I don't know exactly what this is made out of, but <clears throat> just from looking at it, it um, doesn't look the best. I, I don't know why no one has been talking about these filters because um, filters are, are often talked about with everything else. You know, if you're doing a pour over, what kind of filter are you going to use? Are you going to actually use a filter or not you know you're going to try to remove some of the oil or not remove the oil um so we'll go ahead and take a closer look here and those fibers look very strange um i would hope that this thing is standard and and up to code um but then again i've never ripped apart a filter for coffee before so this is all very interesting to look at um, and those fibers look similar to fiberglass, um, but I guarantee that's not what this is. Um, but that's just what comes to mind when I see it. So there you go. That's the inside of a K-cup. Um, if you've never seen the inside of one, maybe rip open yours one day and just take a peek. All right, there you go. That was the Lavazza review. That was the Espresso Roast K-Cup. I'll put a link down below for the Amazon uh, purchasers out there who want to buy this K-Cup. Um, definitely, if you like this video, please like and subscribe down below. Every subscriber just boosts my morale and helps me think of better videos and better quality. I'm just, I'm striving to be the YouTube channel that you want me to be. So continue to subscribe, continue to like, comment, all of that helps. I'm here for the long haul and hopefully you are too. So once again, I thank you so much for watching my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.